Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat and it's time to play. We are back in the crust. Let's get back to it. Just noticing this model here for this guy. What are you? It's our extractor. Looks pretty sweet. Kinda like it. In fact, there's a a drill right there underneath. <laughs> Looks kinda cool. So yeah, we're moving and we're grooving. Yeah, let's get back to it. We've got a couple objectives. One, we gotta compete. Complete a contract called High Demand. And then we need to start producing titanium plates and do component production. I think we researched the components thing. Uh, let's take a quick look at the research tree. Oh. Yeah, that's still underway. And hopefully we're getting enough, um, enough research points to do it. It looks like we are. So we'll let that run. And let's see what this is all about. Commerce Center, manage contracts, trade on the market, and hire colonists. At the top of the screen are the main categories of the trade exchange. Now select the contracts category. You are now in the contracts tab where you can see the available active and completed contracts. On the left side, you'll see the factions offering contracts. Please select the faction under the active tab. Okay, active. Now select the high demand contract. High demand, that's the name of our contract. No due date. Tenant stuff to earth. 9,600 something. Let's see what it says. Arabian concern of infrastructure and logistic is an international construction and transport concern. ACIL was a small startup from the Arabian Peninsula, which signed a contract with the Crust for transportation of materials for a space elevator and preparation of a construction site. Later, the concern found new contracts and gradually expanded its activity to many regions of the earth. ACIL actively cooperates with other corporations on cargo transportation, and after the beginning of the lunar exploration, the concern signed a new contract with the crust for creation of lunar infrastructure. Okay, all very good. This selected. interface provides contract details. You can accept, cancel, or send resources from here, as well as track the status of the contract. Take a good look at the page and click send resources when you're ready. Okay, we already read this kind of stuff. Um, just need to deliver 30 silicon. We only have 22. Um, send resources. We only have 22. Let's see what happens. Here you will assign resources to be sent to complete the contracts. I see. On the left side of the screen, there is a table of resources available at your base. And in the center, you have the dispatch window. On the right side, you'll find information on the selected contract, options for choosing a landing site, and selecting a capsule type. Fill up the contract with the required resources, hit send, and then wait for the contract to be completed as it takes time for the capsule to reach the Earth. Alright, yeah, I kind of remember this from before. Uh, let's see what it says. Add 100 resources, add 10 resources, add 1 resource. So if I primary click... Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is doing down here. Oh, control click. So if I do 20, 21, 22, 23, <laughs> 22, 23, uh, then what? Send. I think we want to wait till we have all 30, right? Contract selected, change, cargo pod. Landing site, landing platform. Hmm. Not enough resources yet. Anyway, let's just, I'm going to escape out of that for now. I'm going to wait till we have a little bit more silicon made. In fact, we don't even know how to make that yet. Uh, that's what that is too, right? Silicon? All right. Titan plates production. Titan plates are produced in the rolling mill. Let's see what we have going on in here. Triple wall, single regolith refinery. Is this the roll? No, components factory. I see. Rolling mill. We need to research this one next. So we may speed up time. Let's do that. I don't think there's a reason not to. And then let's look on the surface while we're waiting for... Director, our energy reserves are almost tree. at zero. The moon has a long day-night cycle. Make sure we have enough solar panels to charge the batteries. During the solar phase... 
In case of severe power shortage, you can disconnect modules that are not needed at the moment. Also, modules with low priority are disconnected from the grid first. Okay, try to increase the number of solar panels and batteries. Also, you can build a generator. It's able to produce electricity from fuel, sometimes an indispensable thing to wait out the night from the moon. I don't know where we get fuel. Do we even have any? Water storage. That's our power. It's not looking great. We get a bunch of this, which is our credits, I imagine. And that's our drones. 11 regular drones and three mining drones, I'm guessing. Resources. Here we go. Bunch of regolith, bricks, steel, teeny oxide, silicon. Okay, we're earth elements. Let's, um, what I was going to say was let's get the rover going. Doing something, right? Is there anything else for you to do out here, cargo terminal? I don't think we have any objectives there. Okay, let's dismiss that guy. Seems like we should at least be sending this guy out. Uh, are they not going to let us? You, okay. Expedition. Wreckage. Health rover. Okay, we've detected an unknown object near our base. The object is something metallic, no bigger than a transport capsule. There shouldn't be any known structures there. Perhaps we should send a vehicle. We'll do it. Okay, the rover's moving. And then this guy, I don't think I can do anything with this cargo truck until he's done the investigating and the investigating first. Production mode. I'm not sure what this is up here. These buttons. Okay, not enough power to run the module. Did I just turn something off? Oh, storage. Let's do... This guy's kicking out steel, right? Yeah, that was our storage that we built. Good, good. This guy's complaining about power. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do more solar panels on the surface. Uh, the other thing is, can we start salvaging this? We can. That is good. Look at all this stuff we can salvage. Can't seem to multi-select. Maybe control click? Nope. Let's mark a bunch of this stuff for salvage. We have a bunch of drones now that should be freed up since we have uh, conveyor belts going down below. There's got to be a way to multi-select these. Um, shifting, nothing. Right-clicking, <laughs> nothing. Not sure what it is. Okay, escape out of that. Let's start getting some of this recycled. We may end up getting the silicon that way. Okay, drones are doing their thing. Uh, one of the research tree th items is almost done. Curious what we're going to get resource-wise. Uh, that's showing us right there. I don't see silicon. I see microcircuits and components, bricks, and... Iron. Uh, let's get these things picked up too, and then we'll throw down more solar. It'd be nice to research the uh, the bigger solar panels too. They're probably way more efficient than what we've got. We've already got a couple of researchers researches queued up though. Uh, where were those? Here. Let's hmm. Let's get these queued up. Like our first research is almost done. That's the components factory. We'll try and put that down. I don't know if we have the ingredients we need to make components, but we're going to try. Got crates of stuff sitting all over the place. Oh, there's some here. I wonder if that's counted. That must be counted in our inventory, right? The silicon. <clears throat> I 
See what these guys are leaving behind. We're getting a little silicon from the batteries and the solar panels. But we're going to be spending that. I guess we're going to be stuck doing some small solar panels. Let's get some of these placed. We'll do two rows of these and then hopefully um, by the time these are built and we need more power, we can start putting the big solar panels down here and then we'll eventually probably decommission these guys. I think I can wire these up. Okay, director, we've detected an object hitting the surface near the base. Okay, we've read that three times. Let's uh, see what we get. Take a look at the um, surface. Does it show us something new? Paid lab, demolished structure, meteorite landing site. Okay, this is new. But our rover is still on his way to this other point of interest, this wreckage. I'm hoping that once this gets once this gets surveyed, we can send the cargo truck to go fetch resources. So that guy's still busy. First research is complete. I want to get these guys wired, then we'll move on to doing other things. Just gonna daisy chain these. Boom to boom. Boom to boom. Uh, we probably need batteries too. Do it. Let's get those built. At least four more. Uh, not having power is going to slow down all of our production. Battery. I'm sure there's a jumbo battery in here too. Uh, maybe not. I don't see one. Gotta be. Large accumulator battery. Yeah, there it is. We haven't unlocked that yet. We'll do four of these guys. Right, orient them the same way, and uh, I guess these can be right next to each other. Okay, that's going to consume some of our silicon, but... All right, yes, this is going to get us more research for tech tree stuff. Okay, in a desolate lunar valley lies the wreckage of a crashed spacecraft. The cylindrical body and remnants of solar panel mounts suggest it was a satellite disabled in the explosion and fell from orbit. Scorch marks and signs of extreme heat are evident, telling of the catastrophic event that caused its downfall. The scene is both awe-inspiring and tragic, a stark reminder of the perils of lunar exploration. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. It'd be cool to see a larger image of that, right? That looks pretty cool. The visuals are pretty darn sweet, I think, <clears throat> in this game. I'm going to mark more stuff for scavenging. Salvage. Boy, there's got to be a way to multi-select this. I just don't know what it is. Shift, shift, control, control. Nope. I'm gonna grab these too because I know we're going to be building in this area once we unlock the bigger solar panels. We'll just stick to this layout. Seems to make sense. Alright. That's that. Our new power panels are up. Let's go down and see if we can build components production uh don't think we'll be able to oh and we need to mark more territory for mining let's do that first keep our three mining drones busy chewing up this regolith and making bricks for us could be scanning for ore in fact, there's another ore deposit right here, right? We need to put a miner down on. Let's do... Oh, scan with the ore scanner first. Let's do that. I'm going to power this guy up. Do a scan. And we'll scan this. And our power is not looking great. Maybe we'll go conservative on this and just try to get this ore discovered. <clears throat> 
Silicon, perfect. Just what we need. Let's get a miner on it. Oh, it'd be cool if we could copy that. Center click. Just try and center click doesn't do it. Um, we'll just build another one. Mining extractor. I want the ore dumping out this way. Tells overlapped nine out of nine. Yes, that's a good thing. All right, our silicon's at 18. We need 30 for that contract. Uh, we don't have storage for bricks. We could set that up. Let's try it. Uh, single resource type, 512 units. Bulk resource of one type. Let's just do this right here. Right click to get a belt. And belt this guy into here. That allows us to store the bricks. Accumulate some of those. Uh, we can turn off our scanner for now. Save a little electricity. Hey, looks like we're going to be able to convert and get some more mining drones. Let's get uh, at least one more. We'll add more once we're done scavenging on the surface. I think I want a lot of drones doing that. In fact, let's go back up. Yeah, they're doing. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, boy, there's got to be a way to multi-select. I don't know what it is, so I'm stuck doing this. Let's get all of this. I wonder if we should be setting up some storage on the surface to collect all this silicon and stuff into its own storage containers. Let's go back down and let's see if we can at least put down that component factory. Components factory. Producers takes iron and what are these guys? Titanium. And it's going to spit out components. Iron and titanium. Iron's kind of coming out of this thing, right? And that's going to be silicon. I don't know where the titanium is going to be. Let's uh, pop this guy like this. And then we may pull iron out of that storage into this thing. Get that going. Okay, yeah, not enough power to run something. I don't know what to shut down. Set this up to store bricks. Boom. There they go. Increased priority. Logistics set up. This must be... Oh, let's see what this is. Allow bringing in resources, allow taking resources. This must be control whether drones can get to the building or not. Kind of like a uh, captain of industry has maybe. Not sure. Seems like that might be the case. This poor guy does just does not have enough power. Let's look at the tech tree. See how we're doing. The rolling mill is coming soon. And then we got the solar panels and we can throw a bunch more of these down. The big, the medium sized ones, I should say. The rover's idle. We can go up and see if we can get that guy born something new. Whoops. That's not you. Way out here. 
There's a bunch of resources we can send our guy out to get. Start expedition. Crash site gives resources. Cargo truck. Resources. Max out. Send. Okay, our cargo truck's going to go make it out that way. Let's give our surveyor another thing to explore. Rover. Meteorite landing site. Investigate. So that is moving along. Cool, cool. We'll probably get some more science points and maybe some resources too out of that. I like it. A bunch of stuff got scrapped here. What do we do about all this? Should there be storage up here? Could do it. He has to organize things. Iron and micro circuits. We'd be using up silicon to do it. Hey, we've got the 30 silicon. Let's get that contract going. Boom. Um, boom. Boom. Uh, how do we get it in there again? Deliver. You have that. And resource. We have 36. Okay. How do I get this to go again? Back. Available. Oh, check out all these other contracts. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one's active. Where's my little middle screen? Where I can add the resources. Let's see if this does it. I'm clicking. Control clicking. Trying to follow those instructions on the bottom here, but that's not doing anything for me. I have 36. Never Earth, no do you. Board. I mean, obviously I can hit send resources, but I don't have anything loaded. Uh, where might that be? I remember being confused by this last time. Okay, there we go. I managed to get that there. Okay, requires 30. Change cargo pods. Standard cargo pods. going to cost me a thousand credits. That looks fine. That looks fine. I think we're good. Let's try it. Here comes the cargo pod. I imagine our drones are going to take some stuff over there. Yeah, that guy looks like he's carrying some. Or he's going to move resources. Awesome. I like it. While they're doing that thing, let's mark some more for salvage. What were these? These look pretty cool. What else? We got a whole bunch of stuff. What is this? Conveyor belts up on the surface. Cool. I think last time I played, it was about nine months ago. And we did all our factory building, as I recall, down in underground. We didn't do much on the surface. I mean, we had our power generation and stuff, but not much else. That's good for resource. Oh man, there's just a ton of little things here too. All right, meteorite. The scout has examined the meteorite impact site and discovered some chemical compounds that would be of interest to scientists. We're getting some more science. We'll take it. Did we leave any debris over there that our guy can go collect? Our other guy doesn't look like it. I don't see a stack of garbage. I was going to say, I don't see a stack of resources here. Let's send this guy over to somewhere. Let's go to start expedition. Scout Rover requires survey, the paid lab. Oh man, he's got a backtrack. Anybody else need survey? Distress call. Yeah, that's a lot closer. Scout Rover. Get the Rover going over there. Very cool. Very cool. 
Uh, what do we get for that contract? Is this our reward? Some science points? Maybe some reputation points as well? Uh, we can look at other available contracts. Whoa, these are different companies and they have multiple contracts. 250 silicon, that's a little rich for our production levels right now. Titanium plates. We could be doing these. Concrete, right? We don't have a ton. We have a ton of anything. Oddly enough, we have mostly iron. 152 iron. Um, we have a bunch of this stuff. I have a feeling we're going to need it. All right, research is complete. And solar panels are almost done. We're going to plunk down a bunch of these. Do we have an ups leveled accumulator? High voltage systems. There's the large battery. Electric generator. Fuel factory. Hmm. Electric pillar. This is like the power poles, right? Increases the connection limit to five. That's what our current ones say. Um, hmm. Objective Good job, Director. <clears throat> the fund should have been deposited into our account by now. With the successful execution of these contracts, we are well on our way to surpassing our expectations and fully covering the costs of our lunar expedition. All right, cool. We got paid for the contract. I think we should be focusing on production, right? Increase the mining speed by 50%. That's tempting. Electric generator, harbor hydrocarbon generator. We need that to get to the batteries, the large batteries. Um, that's simple science. That's, well, it's not really simple science. We're getting this from our explorations. I'm gonna go for this. I really want this big battery because I know uh, power is gonna be kind of a big thing, right? These guys look semi-charged. We can get another row. Solar panels down. Let's see what the cost is for these big guys. Six silicon, we don't have much. We are mining it. But are we press? Do we have to press it, roll it, knead it? <laughs> what do we need to do to actually make it usable form? Or are we getting it in usable form? Uh, we need power. Oh, we need to plug it in. That might help, right? Same thing with this guy. What do we want to do our power poles? Um, boy, this guy would be a good one to extend. He doesn't have any more connections, I don't think. Let's um, let's reroute some of these cables here just to make this a little bit better for us. A little neater. That can go there, and then we'll extend this branch out this way. And then you can power you. You can bring another power pole out this way, and you can power you. Uh, once those get built, we'll see how we do on power. Yeah, this guy just gets us regolith. It just happens to be like silicon rich, right? And then I guess we need another refinery. I still don't know where this slag goes or what we're doing with it. Um... I don't know why the game just paused there for a second. Curious if we should be belting out from here. Oh, there it goes. Look, it's showing us. Regolith. Got it. Got it, got it. You can see the output port there in the middle is for the iron oxide or whatever. And then this is the junk, the slag. Director, your desire to help or gain profit in exchange for resources is understandable but I'd like you to consider other kinds of investment in science. There's a whole network of laboratories on the moon, not far from us where I used to work. 
They're well fortified and should have survived the blast. I'm putting the coordinates into the system now. Hopefully, you will find a moment to examine them. Frankly, I'm looking forward catching up with my colleagues. I'm sure, given our situation, we could work something out. Investing in science always sounds noble, but it's also a high-risk, long-term endeavor. And the peak demand in the market will be over very soon. I don't think it will be the right call for us. Our horizon of opportunities will be over soon. If you've ever wondered why you can't ascend beyond being a run-of-the-mill broker, it's surely your incapacity to see beyond the immediate horizon, Ledger. If we manage to overcome the technological disadvantages before the major corporations re-enter the lunar arena, it will elevate us from being mere street hustlers to becoming direct competitors and industry leaders alongside them. Director, here are the coordinates of the Fundamental Science Laboratory. Let's start there. It was run by Dr. James Lee, a brilliant theoretical physicist, an expert in probability theory, and a renowned poker player here on the moon. <laughs> and a renowned poker player. The writing's actually pretty good. I'm not real big on stories in games, especially factory games, but uh, it's pretty well done, and the voice acting is pretty good too, I think, in my opinion. Um, but not bad. He wants us to do some more research. We On the surface, we will. But let's uh, see what this gets us. Uh, we have some more research and more engineering points and some cash. And a new contract available. We saw a whole bunch. What do you guys want? 60 iron? That should be easy, right? We got tons of this. And it'll get us some science points. Again, this is the thing that's weird about this is getting to that screen where I specify the resources. Like this, I should be able to click this and up pops a screen or something where I can assign the resources. I think if I hit send, it's going to complain. Let me hit send and just see what happens. Okay, that takes us in here. Yeah, that should be like open contract or something, not send, in my opinion. Okay, let's get the steel. 60 steel. Don't need to change cargo pod or any of this kind of stuff. Or we could see this holds 600 weight. We're sending 60, it takes, yeah, 600. Guessing that's weight, 600D, 600D. So we probably have to keep that cargo pod. We've only got one landing site, send. And let's go up to the surface, watch this guy come down. That'll keep our tech tree stuff going. And we should have the rolling mill now, too. Go down and see what's happening here. We get a few things, right? We still need to process this regolith that's silicon rich. And we were thinking this guy might do it for us. A single regolith refinery. Let's take a look and build one of those. Trying to make more sense. Um... Yeah, there's a multi-regolith refinery, right? Where you put all the regolith in and then it pulls out everything, all the materials. That is pretty sweet. We want that. But for the time being, we're going to have to live with this guy. And then we still need to find a place to put all this slag and figure out what the heck it's even used for. There's a way to uh, repurpose that. I think there is. I just don't know what it is. Um, this guy can snuggle up pretty close to here. Belt these guys together. Boom and boom. Belts are super easy to place in this game. We've got another extra electrical connection here. That shouldn't be a problem. Get that wired up. Boom. And then we probably need to pick a recipe on this guy. We want silicon ox silicium oxide. Interesting. <clears throat> That's all ready to go. Just waiting on construction materials, and then we're probably going to need another smelter. Yep, 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 yep. Whoops, just trying to escape out of that. Let's get another smelter placed. Build. Melting furnace. Maybe I can put this guy. Let 
somewhere like this. Waiting how much room to leave. Let's leave a little bit of room this time. Belt. You into you. And you're going to need power. Um, I'm <clears throat> just thinking about a good spot for this. That'll do for now. Thinking of running a belt down the middle here. That's why I don't want to put it there. Okay, urgent contract. Crisis. Smart concrete. Great news. Director briefly said I signed an agreement to fulfill several contracts on our behalf. After completion of several contracts, things got hectic and ex on the exchange. These contracts are run-of-the-mill resource supply deals. Nothing out of the ordinary. These rates, rivals might restart production on Earth or offload their surplus. But I acted fast, guaranteeing we'd come up or we'd come through with the needed resources. Now it's your turn to prove our commitment and reliability. You'll find the accepted contract in the active tab. Best of luck. Oh man. I got five. We need a bunch of that silicon. And the smart concrete's not too bad. Yes, would... Director. I do see them in the system as accepted. Mr. Ledger overdid himself this time. It's not only irresponsible, but just simply unprofessional. How about giving us a heads up before signing next time, rather than after? My role is to secure the most profitable contracts for the company, Miss Vance. If handling a few small deliveries is beyond our capabilities, then perhaps we shouldn't be in this biz. We can either continue to lament our situation, or we can complete these contracts and prove that we stand head and shoulders above the competition. Director, we'll deal with him later. Right now, let's concentrate on the active contracts. Getting those deliveries on time is crucial. I think it's time for a company uh, team building event <laughs> to get everybody harmonious. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. Uh, we got some stuff done. I think we're on the verge of um, processing silicon. Let's uh, pick the recipe. All the pieces are in place. That's going to help with the contract they just signed us up for. Uh, we do have another contract that just completed. Let's grab our cash and goodies from that one. And then, yeah, not enough power still, huh? It's probably batteries. Let's, uh, we'll come back to it next episode. We'll look at the tech tree and see how far away those better batteries are. I'm trying to avoid putting down a bunch of the cheap ones, but if we have to, we will. We can always scrap them later. Um, I'm not sure how much of our resources we get back when we do that, but it is an option. Yeah, that's it for this one. For analysis, Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on the latest demo of The Crust. What a cool game. So much to do. Hope you're enjoying it. I want to thank Glider Cat patrons and channel members for their support of the channel. Deeply appreciate that support. And thank those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up. Appreciate that as well. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.